All right, so cleaning rubber floor mats, it's actually very simple. You don't need expensive tools or products. What I usually use is Coach Chemi Green Star. This basically is a all-purpose cleaner, high alkaline all-purpose cleaner. Then I use it with a drill brush. So I work in the product with the brush, rinse it off, and then I dry it. And then after that, I dress it with Coach Chemi Gummy Fix. This is by far the best non-slip dressing that I've found for rubber floor mats and it just makes them look brand new again. Alright, so at this point, I'm not too worried about getting it perfectly clean. We're going to be going in and out of the car and we're going to blow it out with the tornado next. So there is going to be dirt and dust falling on the carpet again. So for now, I just want to get it relatively clean. <laughs> Next step, what I like to do next is I start working on the seats. I have our interior scrub bats, and then I have PNS Express Interior Cleaner, which is my favorite interior cleaner. Um, I'm gonna be cleaning the seats, uh, the steering wheel, you know, all of the leather surfaces, and also the plastic surfaces. I'm all gonna be cleaning this with PNS Express. For most of the work, I just use a scrub pad. I'll also be using a uh, detailed brush to get into, uh, you know, the nooks and crannies and tighter areas of... The towels that I use for interior work, these are the 365, Edgeless 365 by the Red Company. And these are my favorite towels for uh, this kind of stuff. This product is so good, man. PNS Express works on pretty much all interior surfaces. Just look at that. So if you have compressed air available, uh, it's also a great tool to, if you have any product like in the seams or anything, you can just blow it out with this.
All right, so the seats are done. Now it's time to do the steering wheel. What I like to do is I like to spritz in some product on my brush here and uh, get it over the steering wheel. And then I take my scrub pad. If you have compressed air available, this is going to make your life so much easier. You can just blow out all the uh, remaining product in these in between these buttons and everything here, so You need this. As a detailer, you just need this. It's going to it's going to make your life easier. It's going to it's going to provide better results as well, so I think you really need this as a detailer. So door panels, pretty much the same thing. I just uh, spray down the entire door with uh, the product. A little bit in there. I just take my, uh, my scrub pad. And then I take my, my detail brush. Get a little more product. So I take my detail brush just to get in between these uh, buttons and just the tight areas, stuff like that. Wipe it down. For the paddles here, I uh, I just use the same product. I'm gonna use this small drill brush attachment, which uh, works great to clean the paddles. I put down a microfiber towel on on the carpet here, just to you know catch some of the product or dirt that may uh, fall onto the onto the carpet. So you know, you could also use Green Star, which we use for the rubber floor mats. You could use that here, but um, Express will do a good job as well. Also get the back here. All right, so that is most of the cleaning done. I've also done some more work on the dash here. We still have to, you know, clean up the the screen here and obviously the windows, but we'll do that last. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna protect the plastic surfaces, such as the door panels and everything, with Coach Cami Top Star, and then I'll be using Coach Cami Letter Star as our letter conditioner. I really like the uh, the finish of this product. It's like a like a satin matte finish, semi matte finish, and I just really like it. I like the uh, 
the look it provides I think it really freshens up uh, the plastic parts in in the interior of the car So Coach Kimmy Leather Star also dries to a nice matte finish because uh, I don't really like shiny finishes for for any interior surface, especially for seats. Because you know, shiny leather is dirty leather, so I don't really understand why people would want it shiny. It doesn't look good. It should be matte. So the finish on this product is really nice. It is, obviously it's a little shiny when you apply it, but when you work it in, when you leave it to dry for a little bit, it uh, provides a really, really nice finish. You can also always give it a, a little wipe down with a towel, so. I like this product. Not a whole lot left to do here. Um, I'm gonna clean the screen. I'm just gonna use the same product that I use for the windows. This is Coach Gimme Class Star. Um, this is a little, I think, more concentrated, I guess you could say, than uh, Coach Gimme Glass Cleaner. So this is a little more effective. And usually when I do an interior clean like this, I like to use Glass Star. And for just like maintenance washes and stuff like that, I use uh, Coach Kemi Glass Cleaner. And what I like to do, these glossy parts right here, I also wipe down, I just wipe them down with the same towel just to make sure I get a streak-free finish. This, this is the one product you didn't know you needed. This is a glass clean tool, and this is this is so useful for uh, for cleaning your windshield. So if you haven't got one of these yet, you need to get one. You really need to get one because this is gonna make you just like compressed air. This is gonna make your life easier. So. So that's pretty much about it. I'm gonna give this uh, thing a last vacuum to clean everything up. I'm using the uh, Big Boy Sucker Pro, by the way. And then I'll put the rubber floor mats back in and I'll show you the end result. Mm -hmm.